Hello everyone and welcome to Office 365 Administrator course. This is a real world scenario. What is real world scenario? In our course when we finish everything we show you exactly what we do at work and how uh, we get calls so then you can learn the hands-on type of skills. So in this real world scenario it's related to our Office 365 Administrator course and this will be shared in our um, section which is says right here uh, troubleshooting uh, OneDrive and other issues so this is going to be email issue so let's go ahead and um, open this now we're not showing uh, exactly the real uh, you know um, admin center but every single thing is the same and screenshotted so there's no difference the reason is that we can explain things better and for privacy reasons now let's get started what is the issue here let's say and this issue could be in, in basically explained in different ways but let's say you have a user they call and they say we sent out an email to this user and I'm expecting an answer and then I call this person he said that I did respond to your email so two things first you're calling the person that's number one that's like like a help desk kind of troubleshooting you start like okay you talk to the user what is happening here so you confirm that a user sent an email and then the user confirmed that they did call so you're basically you have to trust your user so yeah they did call and they sent an email okay great now how do you start troubleshooting now this could be other way a user say that we are using some type of shared mailbox this is one mailbox and it sends out a lot of emails to students right and then we are expecting them to reply to this email so then there's some kind of confirmation going on so they say oh we did not get 50 students emails so something is not right over here so how do you even start this this is for learning purposes so we are going to start this the first thing you do is you need to go to your admin center uh, in office 365 of course you watch if you're watching this video for the first time uh, from YouTube channel or anywhere else please take this course because I'm not gonna explain uh, how to get to the admin center as it, you can see there's a full section for learning so let's not waste time on that okay so you go to your admin center you click on admin center right here and then you click on exchange then it will take you to ed exchange admin center and after that you will click on message trace this is where you check your emails what's going on with your email the, del the delivery of your email is it went through did it stopped did it got blocked it is it defined as a spam it's coming from Microsoft Microsoft decide what uh, you know um, what to do with your email but uh, you have your own rules you can set in your company and if you don't have any rules Microsoft have default rules and then they will control that but spam is totally controlled by kind of Microsoft I mean a lot of control from Microsoft side you probably have some control but uh, you really can stop a spam if it's sp specified a spam all over the world um, Microsoft is going to make it spam you know so that's how it works then what you need to do is you need to click on message trace over here and in message trace you have this uh, this one first so you get basically this uh, screen right here let me make it a little bigger so you guys can see clearly this screen right here now you can go up to seven days in this uh, um, section right here if you want something a little bit more like 30 days then you, it will create a report so that takes a, a few minutes to make the report and then you get it in email or you check it like you know there's download but seven days is usually people will call like hey I'm not getting the email so can you find this out so if it's a seven days you're kind of lucky because then it's so easy to do that so I'm just gonna keep the seven days for now later on when we get the issue with the 30 days there's more than we can do that later but seven days is fine so you you click in in here you just basically define say hey it's seven days and then here is a sender and recipient what you will do basically you'll find the res the sender address which is the the student address or the people or the person that you're trying to get you're gonna get that email and you're gonna type it right here because they told you on the phone that I did respond it so you should be getting something in your uh, server so basically you get the sender here recipient is your or your mailbox whatever they're trying to reply to and then you click on search now of course when you click on at center you get this uh, pop-up and here it doesn't tell you anything you just 
need to copy paste the check names you just copy paste the email here and you click OK and then you will see it right here people get confused over here because they don't see like what is the check name it's not uh, very clear so just click on that and you'll see that email you see when you do search it tells you what's happening to your email and then it gives you the date and the status right here it tells you clearly that it's quarantined meaning that actually the person did send and this this some type of you know um, uh, the email is sent to this server but then the the spam filter from Microsoft actually stopped it now to confirm that you double click on that and you will see this status from Microsoft it tells you received processed not delivered right it didn't say delivered status is the message you're trying to find was identified as spam an admin in your organization has set up a spam rule to send this kind of email to now honestly most of the people like you know when they get the office 365 they don't send set spam rule. It's usually set by Microsoft or you can do it yourself but like I said Microsoft would control a lot of your spam so because of the the way they they calculate all these spam thing is very confusing so you have to kind of study it uh, pretty good to find exact answer for your type of issues so what you can do here is definitely click on find and release quarantine message as an administrator link over there and it will take you to a lot of information by Microsoft now here's one I just copied it from that link and I'll share that in description this is the link actually so it tells you by default uh, you know spam quarantine messages are kept in quarantine for 15 days while quarantine messages that matches blah 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 quarantine for seven days now if, if it matches the, the rule then it will keep it for seven days after this period of time Microsoft Office 365 deleted the message and they are not retrievable okay this is where I want you guys to focus on and you know uh, if you have some type of uh, rule set in your company or if it's set by Microsoft which they use some type of transport rules you cannot change that right the only thing you can do is to tell Microsoft that this is not a spam and make it not a spam quickly as possible or you know talk to the Microsoft guys and I don't know if they can help you with this but you probably have to work on this because like I said, you're going to click on this link and actually read about all their spam rules. This is pretty big and it's kind of confusing. But but what can you do for, I mean, for easy calls and trying to learn stuff at this point? You, you don't want to get into too much details. You just want to start your Office 365 skills and learning. For an entry-level person, this is exactly what you need to do. You just need to come here and basically you need to click on Quarantine and it will take you to the messages now if it's more than 500 messages as an administrator you will not see uh, that message maybe it's not in that 500 so you need to use advanced search now here's another um, quick uh, hint or I don't know how people are using this when you click on this link it's a, it's a link that everyone can use so when you log in you can actually copy this link and send it to a user and say hey can you click on this link and you will find your messages in this link because it it, it uses your admin it uses your username and password like you know on the um, on the that system so let's say for example you send this link to that person then they when they sign in they will see their own quarantine messages and admin can see everything but they will see theirs so or if it's a shared box they need to log into that shared box and that will see they will see all those messages that are, that needs to be released so you can see that you can use this link in maybe portals some people have like a portal like a company portal like a site and then they will just say uh, you know a spam filter site and everybody basically knows how to go there and check their emails after they don't see it in junk or delete it or whatever they'll just come here like into their site and click on that link and it will take directly uh, to their quarantine messages as an administrator you can just click on that and you will see uh, almost everything in that so when you click on that you see right here that I have a f like a few when I clicked on my uh, admin center I can see 500 emails over here and then what you can do is you click on this little advanced search right here once you click on that you will see this as an advanced search then you can just put the email address of the sender here just click on this get the email address here and then search 
what you will do is when you do search you will find that email address and then you basically click on this little pencil sign or double click on it then you can say release selected messages and allow sender now this will tell Microsoft that you know in their systems they will make it like you know um, next time they won't make it uh, a spam in their rules because it goes back there like you can see right here please note that if a transfer rule or block sender mark this message as a spam futures messages from this spam will also be marked as spam release message to all recent uh, recipients and add it to uh, all senders and allow list so basically what what ha what's happening right now you can send a report like here just click on this so at least they will know by you know when they for example like clearly they're telling you that future messages from this center will also be marked as spam so you can you can basically do the release at all and that will also take care of it but you can also send a report so then next time whatever technology they're using to figure this out that why is it why is this uh, consider spam by Microsoft then they can make it better so that's kinda like the way to do it so when you click on release and allow now you'll just see this message save complete uh, completion successfully and then you can call the user hey you know I worked on it and I was quarantined uh, it's you can explain this is not something in your control so uh, I but I did uh, you know released it and if you want a user to make sure that they don't they they get these messages they can also uh, right click on that email once once they see it in the inbox they can right click on it go to the junk option and then there is a safe sender list you can basically you know type that uh, address in there all right thank you so much